She was doing a great job as Queen Elsa. She belonged to the enchanted forest with all the spirits close to her. Plus, she wasn't even that far away from her family. But what does that mean for the future of Arendelle? Part 2 of Frozen had a pretty satisfying ending, but fans are waiting for the third part. However, these fan theories do make sense. Disney has had a ton of success with the Frozen franchise since it made its box office debut in 20. 13. But let's go from the first to the second to see what the third part is about. Frozen has been one of my most cherished 2013 American 3D musical comedy dramas. Frozen 1 follows the story of a newly crowned queen, Elsa. She accidentally curses her realm with a perpetual winter by using her power to turn things into ice. And that's where things go downhill. Her sister Anna joins forces with a mountain man, his jovial reindeer, and a snowman to alter the weather. The majority of its success can be attributed to the voice actors who brought the characters to life. They include Adina Menzel as Elsa, Josh Gad as everybody's favorite Olaf, and Kristen Bell as Anna. Wonderful! The actors have brought life to the characters, indeed. However, do not forget the people behind it. Frozen was directed and written by Chris Buck, and Jennifer Lee. The production was done by Peter Delvecco from Walt Disney Animation Studio. They have given us a piece so admirable that it can't ever be denied. People enjoy watching animated movies about snow and magic on a regular basis. Frozen was granted two Golden Globe Awards at its 71st ceremony. It also won four of the 10 nominations at the 41st Annie Awards. Oh, not to forget the two Oscar nominations nominations for the movie, including Best Original Song for Let It Go. It also set a record by winning an Oscar for Best Animated Feature for the first time in the history of Walt Disney. It didn't only garner the awards, but also the money. It made $1.28 billion, breaking all the records. According to Disney, Frozen is the highest grossing movie of all time and the second highest grossing animated movie after Toy Story. Frozen production cost around $150 million. It was a huge success. Of course, if a movie makes a lot of money and comes with huge success, it demands part two. Frozen 2 was released in November 2019, marking the biggest opening weekend earnings of all time. We can't believe what happened in Frozen 2. There were a lot of storylines that had to get wrapped up. First, Anna realized that the only way to free the forest forest was to destroy the dam. It was built by her grandfather to trick the North Aldrins. It destroyed their resources, which angered the North Aldrins, so they cut off the forest from the rest of the world. When Anna destroyed the dam, she also freed Elsa, who had been frozen in Atahalan. This completes Elsa's power as she becomes the fifth spirit. Now she becomes the only one to unite and calm the other spirits. She arrives just just in time to save Arendelle from being destroyed by the flood. She returns to Olaf and realizes that she belongs in the forest with the other spirits. This particular decision made Anna the queen of Arendelle. Frozen 2 was beyond epic and made fans groove over it. It was also directed by Jennifer Lee and Chris Bucks with the same voiceover artists. It cost $150 million in production. Well, it was worth it. It brought home the Annie Award for voiceover acting in a feature film and the Kids' Choice Award for favorite male voiceover artist. Frozen 2 outperformed the first part at the box office. Despite the lack of catchy songs, it was still appreciated. Let's go into the unknown once again. Why? Because Disney CEO Bob Iger revealed that they are returning with the Frozen Kingdom once again. While the business aims to capitalize on some of its future highest grossing franchises, Frozen 3 is currently in production. So here is everything that is yet known about the third part. The first theory for Frozen 3 is about Elsa. She's no longer the Queen of Arendelle, so what will she do with all of her time? Anna found her love interest a long time ago, so maybe Elsa would get to meet her love interest in part 3 as well. Well, that's our assumption, and more than that, it's our wish so she doesn't have to 
to be alone. Also, now that the enchanted forest is open again, it can be safe. But some people in Arendelle still fear magic, like Elsa's grandfather. It is also possible that word of the forest magic will spread throughout the world, and someone from somewhere else will come and try to use the magic. Very typical of film's second act. And then, once again, Elsa would have to stop them. She may also figure out more about her parents since she didn't decode the parchment found in the shipwreck. We all hope she does look into it because previously the audience got confused when she found the paper and didn't do anything with it. As the North Aldrin said that her mother was one of their family, she might try to find a distant relative of hers to learn more about her family. While we are hoping for all the good things to happen in a movie, well, there can also be bad news. Hans will probably return to the movie. His character in the movie was pretty much worse as he tried to take over the kingdom. He's the annoying little brother of a huge family, and his chances of ruling the kingdom are pretty much lower than anybody's. Well, with this personality and intentions to take over the protagonist, you're never going to make him one. So who is going to be in the movie? Twitter users praised Josh for making a comeback and concurred with his joy at Olaf's upcoming reunion with our Frozen sisters, Anna and Elsa. While Adina Menzel, who plays Elsa, has already expressed interest in and embraced the notion of reuniting for more Frozen fun, Olaf is the only cast member we can guarantee will return for the time being. Kristen Bell, who plays Anna, has joked with Adina Menzel about potential sequels, including the rest of the Frozen ensemble. In addition to the voiceover cast, we are all hoping to see the dynamic director duo Chris Bucks and Jennifer Lee. What if they make more movies in the future? That would be so cool, right? They are going to be mesmerizing with an emotional touch. It's been four years since Frozen 2 was released. As there was a six years gap in Frozen 1 and Frozen 2, it looks like we have to wait another two years. But then again, this is all just an assumption. The plot, writers, directors, and release date are all currently unknown. It would be surprising if Buck and Lee didn't come back. Some people are even saying that this is just a desperate money grab rather than a commitment to uphold the movie's heritage. Meh, we can never know their intentions, can we? Especially since Bob Iger is renowned for being a rare, creatively friendly executive. But the situation for Disney seems a little precarious as of this moment. But let's not be hopeless, shall we? Everyone's looking out for a sneak peek at what happens next, so stay tuned, even if you can't hold it anymore.